Ross from the Video Primary Team here. Our world has drastically changed with the invention and rapid enhancements of mobile technologies. YouTube recently reported to having 1.5 billion monthly active users who spend more than one hour a day watching YouTube content on mobile devices alone. You have learned throughout our previous videos, Video Primary can be an excellent source to inspire, teach, and cultivate creativity within the 21st learner, but there are also some concerns associated with using Video Primary. First, by studying YouTube user comments, Kwan and Gertz determined that offensive comments are contagious and have an impact on shaping the community-wide linguistic norms of online user interactions. This study informs us we must be cognitive of what and how we comment on videos to ensure we are role modeling to learners appropriate digital etiquette. Secondly, mobile devices can be a distraction as students can be sidetracked and rather than using them to enhance their learning, they are taking selfies, checking or sending text messages or emails, and maybe even contributing to cyberbullying. Because of these negative uses associated with mobile phones, Thomas and O'Bannon found some school officials banned them from the classroom rather than training, modeling, and motivating teachers to recognize the potential instructional benefits associated with their use. In fostering digital citizenship in the classroom, the authors of this study recognize that students must understand how to use personal technology in ways to enhance their learning experience and lead to self-empowerment and awareness. And schools must ensure that they protect students while guiding their exploration on this digital landscape. The reality is, digital literacy will be required within the future job market, and as educators, we must teach our digital natives to be good digital citizens. Commonsense.org is an excellent website source to provide educators with the necessary tools to teach students these life skills. Lastly, if students are going to create videos, a teacher should ensure proper consent forms are signed, as well as have students post their videos as enlisted or private on YouTube. Rather than being scared to use mobile devices within the classroom, Teachers should educate and embrace the technology as they will be able to engage students in meaningful learning opportunities from anywhere.